Mallory Weiss syndrome is an upper gastrointestinal bleeding from vomiting induced mucosal laceration at the esophageal gastric junction. As in every bleeder, it is important to carefully inspect the mucosa, looking for possible tears, assessing both their depth and the presence of stigmata of recent hemorrhage. Mallory Weiss tears are usually single, but there can be multiple lacerations at the level of the esophagogastric junction, as in this case of an adult male with a personal history of alcohol abuse. The bleeding lesion is usually easily detected in axial view. Sometimes, especially in patients with a hiatal hernia, the retro version of the scope improves visibility and helps for a better assessment of the tear, as in this case. Mallory Weiss tear does not usually require endoscopic therapy except in cases of active bleeding or exposed vessels. Endoscopic hemostasis can be achieved by means of epinephrine injection, hemoclip or banding. There is no clear-cut evidence as to the best treatment option. Compared to epinephrine injection, both clips and band ligation proved superior in terms of reduced risk of re-bleeding. Clips and banding are equally effective and safe for the management of active bleeding in patients with Mallory-Weiss syndrome, even in those with shock or comorbid diseases.